Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. I generally only feature major brands on this channel. They've got more notoriety and so they're the ones that I get the most number of requests for. But sometimes it's nice to do a little exploring into the world of up and coming brands. One of the great things for us guitarists in 2019 is that there are so many options to choose from. One that's caught my eye for a while is Jericho Guitars out of Texas. I first saw them when I was scrolling along Instagram actually. Now Jericho, in my opinion, makes some of the best looking guitars currently available on on the market. This Edge 6 NT, even by Jericho's standards, is quite something. Now from the spec sheet, this isn't a guitar that I would normally pick up, but it just looks so good and I had to get it on the channel. I've been teasing it in the background for far too long, so without further ado, let's take a closer look. First off, I want to give a shout out to David Chus and the rest of the awesome patrons for making this content possible. That support really helps when videos are unsponsored like this one because it takes a lot of hours to put together. If you want to directly support what I do as well, you can join the Patreon community through the link in the cards and get some awesome bonus perks as well. Now the Jericho Edge 6 NT is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful guitars I've ever seen, let alone had on the channel. I'm super into these satin transparent stains right now and the combination of woods and color choices is just so well done. It's one of those guitars that even my non-guitar player friends are super impressed by, like just as a piece of art. Okay, so what do we have for specs? Well, as the NT name suggests, we've got a five-piece maple walnut neck running right through the entire guitar with a nice volute on the back. For the rest of the body, we've got two dark walnut wings, and then for the top, we've got a spalted maple veneer in just the perfect shade of blue for this guitar. Especially with the body bevel that exposes the walnut and neck through on the front, it is just such an eye-catching piece of craftsmanship. I love how it's also got a matching headstock, blue stained spalted maple veneer and everything. It's a guitar that looks utterly phenomenal from the front and equally fantastic on the back. Rounding out the specs is a 24 fret ebony fingerboard. The build quality feels great and with the super thin open pour finish, it feels more expensive than it actually costs. Now both the stain and the satin open pour finish are very, very thin. The way it was explained to me is that it's UV cured after a dusting of a low viscosity top coat. The reason Jericho says they do that is because they want the maximum amount of the guitar's natural tonal character to shine through, and a thinner finish helps achieve that by interfering as little as possible with the natural vibrancy of the wood. And man, we'll get to it in a second, but this guitar sounds good. The sacrifice for such a thin finish is that it's not as perfectly smooth as a thick coat of poly. In my case, I actually prefer that because it feels like the actual wood 
that's underneath the finish. Now since Jericho is a relatively new underdog in the market, they don't have a lot of excess inventory for demos, and this unit they've sent me for the review has some unique identifiers. Feel and quality wise, it's what you can expect from Jericho, but with some visual imperfections that they wouldn't be comfortable with sending to a paying customer. Especially over certain areas on the darker walnut, the blue stain could have been thicker and looks kind of green. And then the edges around both the headstock and the body veneer don't always look super clean. And while we're on the subject of not super clean, the pickup routes look a bit wonky up close, though it's not too noticeable at a distance. So minor stuff that's worth pointing out for expectation's sake, but doesn't have any sort of impact on sound or playability. Again, this is a demo unit, and Jericho assures me that units sent to full-paying customers shouldn't have these types of visual oddities. And overall, the guitar is just stunning. But it's not just a looker. Jericho's made sure that all the components match the quality of the aesthetics. Starting with the bottom and working our way up, we've got a fixed low-profile bridge from Hipshot. I'll admit I was not a fan of low-profile bridges until very recently, and Hipshot is the reason they eventually won me over. Hipshot parts are all US made, they're hand polished, and come with stainless steel saddles, which are rounded and super comfortable for palm mutes. A lot of knockoffs look like this, but have sharper saddles and aren't nearly as comfortable as the real deal. Combined with the string through design, the bridge definitely contributes to the massive amount of sustain that this guitar has. Like you strum a chord and it just rings out forever. Moving along, we've got a Graftech Tusk Nut. You know I love those. It's a self-lubricating nut. Strings don't get caught on it. Then we've got black Grover tuners with mini kidney buttons. They're super reliable. Really, you can't go wrong with Grover. They're very solid and locking is always awesome for the convenience. It does kind of bother me that the shiny black of the Grover tuners doesn't match the more brushed black on the Hipshot bridge. It's a really small thing, I just love uniform consistency when it comes to hardware, but in terms of functionality, I have no complaints. This is high-end stuff. The setup was also great out of the box. That's because while Jericho guitars are manufactured in South Korea, they're designed and set up in Texas before shipping to customers. I requested mine come with 9-42s and be set up for drop D flat, and that is exactly how it showed up at my door. Intonation was good, low action, just the way I like it. And the good news didn't stop there. Obviously, with neck through construction, this guitar has amazing upper fret access. The neck itself is also extremely quick. It's got a thin C shape with a little bit of shoulder, and then the fingerboard edges have been slightly rounded to give it a more comfortable feel. For reference, the neck is very similar to the Chapman ML2 Pro Modern, if you've ever played one of those in Guitar Center or wherever. All 24 frets are stainless steel, which I know a lot of luthiers don't like because they're difficult to work with and are infamous for destroying tools, but as a player, I absolutely love them. One, they're incredibly hard, so they've got a ton of life in them. If you buy a guitar new with stainless steel frets, chances are you'll never have to get it refretted because the frets won't wear down enough no matter how hard you play. But more importantly, they're so smooth. Bending strings and performing vibrato is absolutely effortless. Now they're actually smaller than I was expecting for such an otherwise modern spec guitar. They're like medium sized, I'd say, and then the fretwork is very impressive. There's no overhang, all the fret ends are flush to the fingerboard, and they're also well-rounded. Something that really sets this guitar apart from the rest of its contemporaries is the 25 and three quarter inch scale length. This is relatively long for a normal six string guitar, but at less than 27 inches, it's not really a baritone either. It's somewhere in the middle, which makes it great for thick strings and drop tunings without a massive amount of space between frets. Now something that worried me when I saw the spec sheet was the fingerboard radius. No, no, I talk about fingerboard radius a lot in these reviews, but it's important for me. Personally, especially on six strings, playing flat fingerboards generally still feels a little uncomfortable. 14 inch radii is usually where I'll draw the line. And this Jericho has a 17 inch fingerboard radius. Coming straight from demoing a bunch of Les Pauls with 24 and 3 quarter inch scale lengths and 12 inch radius fingerboards, this was a little bit of an adjustment, but I did adjust and since then I have been playing the absolute out of this guitar. It is a bona fide riff machine. So now let's talk about sound. This latest iteration of the Jericho Edge 6 NT comes stock with a Seymour Duncan JB in the bridge and a 59 in the neck. Here's what the guitar sounds like dirty through the PV6505 Plus and then clean through the Marshall DSL 100H.
surprised that Jericho went with a JB-59 combo for this guitar. Flat hip shot bridge, stainless steel frets, a super flat fingerboard radius, and ultra modern aesthetics. Usually that formula of modern guitar calls for something like a Nazgul sentient or black winter set. But there's a reason that the Seymour Duncan JB-59 combo is one of, if not the absolute, most popular aftermarket pickup set. Together, these are like the ultimate jack of all trades pickup set. It's so versatile. It sounds so good for so many genres, metal included. When I first picked up this guitar, I assumed it had the standard wiring scheme for a five-way blade switch. But actually, instead of splitting the neck, Jericho's told me that position four throws the 59 into parallel, which unleashes some incredibly inspiring jangly tones. Like, I don't really play clean that much at all, but the 59 in parallel sounds so good, especially when you throw in a little bit of chorus and delay, and I spend a ton of time just messing around in that pickup position, coming up with all sorts of ideas. It kind of makes me wonder why the parallel option is so rare compared to coil splits, because to me, it sounds cleaner and it also cancels out the hum. So that's a really cool inclusion on Jericho's part for this Edge 6 NT. So part of the reason this video took so long to get out is that there was a real problem with me getting distracted and just looking at the guitar instead of playing it. I mean, the blue spalted maple veneer on the front, the dark walnut wings on the back, the B-roll looks great, but it looks even better in person. But once I did manage to pick it up, I'll admit, I was really surprised because usually I'm not a fan of anything that strays too far from more traditional specs. And even so, I really liked this one. The super thin open pour finish feels utterly amazing. It's just a super inspiring instrument to pick up and just riff out on. Spec wise, you're also getting a lot for your money. Neck through construction, Seymour Duncan pickups, stainless steel frets, Grover locking tuners, a hip shot bridge, then the 25 and 3 quarter inch scale length makes the Edge stand out as an exceptional guitar for low tunings. I'm not really sure how to end this review. It looks cool, it sounds cool, I like it a lot. If you're into looking outside the mainstream brands, I'll leave a link to Jericho's website in the description. They've got loads of options besides this Edge NT6, and also to their Reverb store where they sell used and factory seconds, so you might be able to score a little bit of a discount. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. These are of course just my opinions and I'd love to hear yours, so leave them in the comments and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Thanks to Jericho for sending this guitar for the review and to Luke for mixing everything. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.